okay uh, see we are going to study this chapter now i am in java basics course basically okay in the java basics course the first introduction to java and philite okay this is something which is basically on what theory which i cover in the classroom and the second lesson the second chapter is about setting up the environment so before we start working on uh, development of java we need to do some bit of setup okay before we start doing the setup like notepad plus plus in windows mac or ubuntu uh, we need to understand few fundamental things okay such as um, first thing is opening the command line so i'll press windows button press r and i type cmd so this is my console your console background may be black and text may be white the reason is because i went to properties and i changed things here okay come back to this First thing what you should do is you should switch to D drive or something like this and create a directory in your name. If you are working the systems which are present in Philite, it will contain only C drive. So in that case, you need to switch back to C drive, say CD slash and here there is a folder called students or students workspace. You have to go inside that and create a directory. So let me come to D drive, assuming that you are working in your system or our system first thing is to create a directory i'll execute a command called mkdir let's say my name is vinay so i'll create a folder called vinay nova so this this particular command creates a directory here d drive vinay nova so i'll go inside the directory cd cd space vinay nova so remember let me come back again cd dot dot to come back i will say cd space vin and the press tab so command line will auto complete uh, with what's a folder already available there cls is to clear the screen dir is to list the directory obviously there is no files as such okay now uh, we'll now learn how to create a directory how to navigate back and forth from one directory to another directory so this is if it is done now this way you can start creating a what program say for example if i want to create one new file let's say notepad space or notepad dot exe space let's say my story dot txt you see the program notepad is asking there's no file as such as my story dot txt do you want me to create this See, there is no file as such as mystory.txt here. If I say yes, you will create that file for us. Now, if I close this and again, if I type notepad space mystory.txt, now we see that it is just opening that file. Now, what is this notepad? So, can we just type simply instead of exe, can we type notepad? Yes, obviously, yes. Now, these are very very fundamental things try to understand this if i type something what operating system will do it will look for a command internal command called something if it is not found then you will look in an external command called something there also if it is not found then it will suffix with dot exe or dot bat and try to execute it and there's no file as such as there's no com internal command or external command or there's no file as such as something.exe that is uh, operable program that is .exe file or batch file .bat. Now if I type notepad, notepad will open and if I click on dir here, there is no file as such as, such as notepad.exe, right? Even I can say notepad.exe. So where this notepad.exe file is present? So this is basically present in let's say C drive program not program files windows and this is where it is you can see double clicking on this and opening this typing a command here either notepad or notepad.exe they both are same and second important part what you have to understand here is say notepad exe or notepad space mystory.txt so here mystory is basically a file name notepad is a program 
So notepad is a program mystory.txt we can call it as command line argument we can call it as command line argument so this program understand this command line argument and execute it as in what um, it will just open the file and how the operating system is able to find so the notepad.txt file the reason is because there is something called path environment variable if I say echo mod path mod we see the contents of path variable here if you see somewhere here C windows has been written see this C windows so what operating system will do when we type notepad it will look for notepad.exe or .bat file in this directory and this directory and this directory and so on and when he's able to find it first he will execute it so suppose if I have let's say um, VLC media player or something let's say VLC for me VLC media player is opening here okay so this is not something will not may not be working in your system so in the next lesson we'll understand like uh, how do you deal with this situation how do we configure environment variable